Featured Stories U.S. Making Plans for Bloody Nose Military Attack on North Korea, Report Says, Business Insider Government Shutdown Averted as Funding Deadline Moved to January 19, CNN, UN Security Council Poised to Vote on Tough New Sanctions on N. Korea, Associated Press National News Judge Dismisses Suits Claiming Trump Violated Emoluments Clause, Politico Trump Deputy Chief of Staff Rick Dearborn to resign, Fox News. Vanity Fair, Steve Bannon grew disillusioned with Trump's governing style, CNN. We're losing the war for truth, Franken denounces Trump, GOP in final floor speech, Washington Post. Senate has spent over $1.45 million settling harassment, discrimination cases in last 20 years, The Hill. Virginia election tie. Coin tosses, picking names in a hat? Yep, that's how some races are decided, USA Today. Six Trump inauguration protesters found not guilty, USA Today. Causes of death released for 58 killed in Las Vegas shooting, Las Vegas Review Journal. Teen who pleaded guilty in slender man stabbing case to remain in institutional care for 25 years, judge says, ABC News. Houston mayor makes desperate plea for Hurricane Harvey recovery aid, NBC News. California wildfire crews gain edge as last evacuation orders lifted, Reuters. Suspect arrested in connection to abduction of baby, slaying of her mother, Houston Chronicle. World news defying U.S. Financial threats, U.N. Votes to condemn Trump's Jerusalem decision, NBC News. Pence makes surprise trip to Afghanistan, CNN. Cuba signals Raul Castro will remain president longer than expected, Washington Post. Japan boosts defense budget to record levels with eye on North Korea, The Guardian. UK's Boris Johnson to Russia, stop destabilizing Europe or else, Reuters. Flinders Street Rampage, refugee driver made utterances, including about Muslim mistreatment, the Australian. Catalonia election, Poob Dement hails defeat for Spanish state, BBC. After Reuters arrests, some Myanmar reporters fear it could've been me, Reuters. Peru's President Pedro Pablo Kuczynski survives impeachment vote, BBC.